Midweek, the governor delivered her first State of the State address, outlining her agenda for the new year and new legislative session, and beginning what she calls a new era for New York after the resignation of Andrew Cuomo, a move to restore trust and integrity in state government. As I stand before you, I'm well aware of the significance of this moment, the first time in New York's history that a woman has delivered this annual address. But I didn't come here to make history. I came here to make a difference. What I am proposing is a whole new era for New York. And the days of governors disregarding the rightful role of this legislature are over. The days of the governor of New York and the mayor of New York City wasting time on petty rivalries are over. The days of New Yorkers questioning whether their government is actually working for them are over. The governor talked about the state's response to the COVID pandemic and how after two years, many worry about another surge coming in these first few weeks of 2022. And I know you're all asking, will we ever get through this? Yes, we will. We're doing everything we can to keep New Yorkers healthy, setting policies that have made our vaccination rate one of the highest in the country, activating a military-style operation with vax and test sites, during this winter surge, our laser focus is on keeping kids in school, businesses open, and New Yorkers' lives as normal as possible. Hochul's proposals include spending $10 billion to hire more health care workers and bonuses to keep current workers on the job. The middle class would get up to a $1 billion in tax cuts and 2 million homeowners another billion in property tax rebates. Hochul's proposing spending another billion dollars on climate-friendly green initiatives, including incentives for those who buy electric vehicles. Another one billion would go to expanding broadband, connecting more New Yorkers with high-speed Internet. Funding for the state's proposed Clean Water, Clean Air, and Green Jobs Environmental Bond Act, which goes before voters in November, would get another one billion for a total of four billion dollars. And the governor also wants to boost funding for higher education for the SUNY system and provide tuition assistance to part-time students who hold down jobs while going to school. 